So, so does it matter which, I mean, can you use either or? Is it personal? Per each job can have a different WIP method assigned to it. Okay. So you could have different types of jobs that have different WIP methods assigned. But in the end, is the ultimate financial reporting the same, I guess? Well, it, it depends. Month to month. If, let's say all depends. of these are four-month jobs for a million dollars, right? right? In, in, the, in the completed contract method, I'm going to book zero as cost and revenue for the first three months. Right. And in month four, I'm going to book Everything. a million in revenue and maybe let's say eight hundred thousand in costs. Right. So and then the next style will be two fifty, two fifty over four months. So percentage of completion. So let's say like we're gonna bill them a million dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Our costs are gonna be eight hundred thousand over four months. So we're gonna we're gonna make two hundred thousand, right? In profit. Okay. Now let's say in this job I bill the customer for two hundred and fifty thousand for a deposit. And then I also incur $400,000 in cost in month one. Okay. Which is half of all my costs. Right. Because I had to order, I had Everything to purchase front, yeah. all the stuff up front. And I had a bunch of labor too, mm -hmm. maybe, or other expenses. So under a, under a percentage of completion with method, what happens is it says, well, wait, you estimated your total... Um, costs were going to be eight hundred thousand. In this month, you booked four hundred thousand, or fifty percent of your costs. So let's book fifty percent, or four hundred thousand, as your cost, and then let's book a proportionate amount of your expected revenue as revenue, awesome. or five hundred thousand. So in that month. I'll have five hundred thousand in revenue and four hundred thousand in cost. So you're not in, yeah. Okay. Right. So I'm matching my revenue and my, my profit margin of twenty percent mm -hmm. is going to stay twenty percent every month, yeah. and it's going to be based on the actual percentage of costs that I've incurred compared to my total. So, so my question is though, if the end result is the same for the different whip styles, right? How do you know which one to choose, or does it matter which one you choose, or just is it really based upon your accounting reporting style? I guess correct. It's based on those your organizational decisions of how and when you want to recognize revenue. There are cases where GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles, mm -hmm. dictate how and when you should rec when you can recognize revenue, okay. or when you should recognize revenue. Okay. Right. So there are. There are different Some industries and different are. different types of things that you could be selling through a job that dictate that you book you book your revenue and costs differently. Okay. Um, but usually, um, most of them, it's a lot of times like an, 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 a piece someone who's manufacturing a custom piece of equipment for someone, um, like a motorcycle or something, let's say, uh, or or other device. Uh, they're they're going to book all the revenue upon shipment, which is really kind of completed contract. Okay. Right? So, um, but a construction industry, right? Maybe percentage of completion. So that says we've booked, we've incurred half of our costs on this job so far. So we should be able to book half of our revenue. 